like that one? If the screen goes black, it's still it's working. Still in in All right, so you guys should be open up for our next lesson. We're going to be doing lesson that's 69. Mm -hmm. um, so here in your page is wanting you to do um, like a sequencing. Remember, we've done this before where we've read the following words in a punctuation. I'm going to save this when we go back and do 68. Okay, we're going to do lesson 69 first. Um, here I'm going to add in our dictionary activity. We're going to try this um, activity again. When we do 68, we'll go back and we'll do this page. You guys can help me remember. Um, I do want you to go ahead and tell me everything that you know about the alphabet that we've been doing so far. So tell me some things that you guys know about the alphabet. Okay? M and N is the middle letters. M and N is the two middle letters. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. 26 letters in the alphabet. A through Z. A through Z are our letters. Um, <gasps> and B through Y are medial. B through Y are medial. The alphabet's made up of two types of letters. They are... Vowels and, and consonants. Vowels and consonants. Very nice. Um, as a quick little review, just to get us going, get our brains going. Um, <clears throat> we're going to review our decks, then we're going to talk about our derivatives. So we're going to go through and do our decks. Remember, these are those secure and insecure. Oh, that's really hard. This will be ready first. Before I get there, oh, sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Um, before that, we need to do our alphabet activity. So I have some things here on the board. Here's my marker for this yeah. way. All right, so here, instead of doing this little alphabet activity, we're going to skip ahead. We're going to look at some of the dictionary. Um, this is kind of a little different than what we did. Let's look here at these words. All right, so think about a dictionary. Think about a book. Remember, I showed you guys what that looked like. These right here are going to be my guide words. If this was a page and this was a page, this is the word that starts at the very top. This is a guide word that's going to let you know um, where those words begin. This is page two. So let's look at my word here. If I wanted to decide, is my word going to be on this page? Is it going to be before this page? I'm sorry. Is it going to be on this page or is it going to be after? Think about this as a book. Here's my bullet page. My book is open. Remember, my stream and already turned those books in. Mm -hmm. The dictionary's in, but my book is open. So I need to look to see is my word going to be before this page? Is it going to be on this page? Or is it going to be after this page? So is it going to be before? Before. Is it going to be on? Or is it going to be? After. So let's look. I have an M, M, I, I, D, C. Uh oh, that's where it's different. Does D come before C? No. Mm -hmm. Does D come before C? No. No, D does not come before C. So I know it's not before this page. All right, let's go ahead and check this one. I have M, M, I, I, D, L. Does D come before L? Yes. Yes, yes. So I know that this is going to be on, why am I it black? It should be red. This is going to be on this page because D comes before L. So I know it can't be after so my word is on this page. Okay, let's try a few more. <coughs> and then I'm going to have you guys come up here and help. Oh. Alright, so let's look at my word. Remember, this is my book. I've got my dictionary open. These are my guide words. Let's look and say, does my word come before this page? Is it on this page or is it after this page? Let's look. I have an M, M, help me out. O, O, T, 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 I, O, and I. Does O come before I? Yes. I know. Does O come before I? Here's O. Is it before I or after I? Before. It's after. O comes after I. Okay, so 
I know it's not going to be before this page. Let's look at our next guide word. I have an M, M, O, O, o T, T, and U. Does T come before U? Yes. Yes, T is before U. U so I know that it could be what? On, on this page. Okay, do you have any questions no. so far? <coughs> Let's keep going. Oh. All right. Remember, here's my book. Samara, would you like to come up here with me? And let's look at my word. So I have my word. Let's look and see. Is it going to come before this page? Is it going to be on this page? Or is it going to be after this page? So I have an F, F, O, L. Does O come before L? No, no. So we know it can't be before. So F, F, O, O, B, C. Does B come before the letter C? Yes, yes, it comes before C. So I know it's going to be what? On this page. On this page. Nice job. They're always on this page. Not always. Not always. Alright, and alright, next one, Arsenio. It's not always. I think this is just what happened on my examples. Alright, so Draw my book. B will be before this page. O is on it. A is after this page. So let's see. B, B, U, and U, S, S, Y, H. Does Y come before H? No. So I know it's not going to be before this. Let's check this one. B, B, U, U, S. S, Y, Y, then a W. Well, it's going to come on this page because I don't have another letter, do I? <gasps> Nothing's going to come before something. So this word is going to be on this page. I know all of my examples ended up being on this page. We'll do some more where we, um, they're going to be after that page, okay? So, um, but good job. Those are just some of the examples that I had in a book. Do you have any questions on this no. part? What if um, there's two words and they both end on the same letter? So, then it'd be on this page. Like on, you know, busy and busy work? It'll be on. Yeah, it's going to be on this page because this word busy is going to come actually, that nothing here is going to come before a something, before another letter. So busy would probably be somewhere on, at the bottom of this page before you get to this one. I told you all of them was on this page. Not all of them. So. Alright, so we're going to go through and do our decks. Remember, these are going to be the secure and insecure. Um, um, so we're going to kind of go through these. Oh, we got it. Okay. No, no. Sit here. Should I get the middle ones? Yeah, can you just get over so you can see them? <coughs> it's still good. What does it say? It's some black. Make sure it's still recording. Your iTunes library does not contain any songs with artwork. I don't care about that. Okay, as long as it's still recording, we are good. All right, these are going to be our secure decks. All right, right now I just want to know that grapheme name, the name of it. So we have O consonant E, G, A, K, H, Cyrus, C, K, S, U consonant E, B, 
Y, um, E, E consonant E, diagraph C, H, C, H, good. A consonant E, C, combination U, R, L, L, L I consonant E, trigraph T, C, H, J, J, U, combination I, R, Z, diagraph T, H, combination I, E, R, Combination oh, E R good and E consonant no. diagraph E E diagraph E E diagraph N G I combination U H R S D V W diagraph S H M E C C diagraph O O Combination A R. Nice work. Good. Nice work. Well, we and had that field trip secure. yesterday. And secure. All right. These are gonna be some of the ones that we're still working on. Remember, this was a vowel Y. Remember, this is the vowel Y. It goes at the end. Vowel Y. Say. It can say um, I N E. I E. Remember, I like fly. E like candy. Okay, so this is the vowel Y. What is it? Vowel Y. <coughs> Final syllable, sh syllable shun. And trigraph D G E. Digraph U E. Combination O R. Combination Q U. Digraph A I. Digraph A Y. Digraph A W. Digraph A U. Diphthong O U, diagraph O W, diphthong O Y, diphthong O I, final stable syllable shun. Alright. That was easy. Does one say Well, we're still working on some of this. Alright. This is going to be keyword and sound. Thong, mother, Rabbit, rabbit nest, nest sink, socks, nose, zippers, jar, match, whistle, apple, app, bacon, egg, wash, sorry, all, all, wash, all, box, fish, cup, cities, cake, good, mop, mm, book, 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 moon, moon, elephant, egg, Meter, e, king, mm, violin, umbrella, of uh, music, you, truck, pig, rope, oh, dog, the bike, I, wagon, what, we, oh, feet, e, table, t, yarn, me, octopus, all, uh, robot, oh, sorry, sorry, it's too much. Mule, you, cake, a, bat, but, Nail, a, tray, a, shell, igloo, it, spider, I, chair, ch, athlete, e, hat. Nice, nice. You guys are going pretty fast on those. Same, same, same. Alright, these are ones we're still kind of working on. Station, shun, mansion, shun, explosion, shun. Cow, owl, snow, o, mouse, owl, coin, boy, 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 star, r, dollar, r, gym, j, badge, j, burn, er, bird, er, turtle, er, queen, or, or, worm, er, doctor, or, Saucer, all, song, all, sorry, they stuck. Statue, you, candy, we, fly, I. See, uh oh. Alright, so hard. <laughs> these are not going to be hard, you got them. What's hard is me holding these cards. Alright, these right here, I want you to give me the keyword and sound. So, like, rope, O, gate, yeah. Apple, a, bacon, a, wall, all, watch, all, kite, hat, truck, socks, 
So, first of all, I added these words here to the board to help save some time. And I mistyped this, so pretend that we have an E in here. So looking at my rule and looking at my syllable chart, what syllable type do we see here on the board? Oh, A. Do we have vowel a vowel to close syllable, vowel to open accented? Do we have vowel T? Do we have vowel consonant yes. E, final stable syllable, or a vowel R control? So yeah, number four. Number four, which is that vowel consonant E. You're right. So if I see my vowel consonant E, my word is tap. Hey, remember vowel consonant E, my vowel is long, we're going to go to that make rhyme. So my word is tape. It's supposed to be tape. tape. It's supposed to be tape because you, you, you go with tape. I know, remember, I know, if I didn't put that E on there, it was tap, but I mistyped it, so that's my error. So thank you for calling me out. Um, so we have actually, that word is tape. Alright, so we have tape. We have file, and we have ride. Right. So tape, file, ride are all syllable type number four, which is the vowel consonant E. All right, so we want to add our suffix I-N-G. We want to add our vowel suffix I-N-G to each of these words. We know that spelling, that the spelling of a suffix never changes. All right, and we've also learned in our past lessons that if a base word ends with a consonant L-E, we're going to drop that E and attach the suffix. Okay, this right here is what I'm saying, a base word with a final vowel consonant E, and we're adding a vowel suffix. We need to drop that silent E and put I-N-G to add our suffix I-N-G. So here, if my word is tape, A. And I'm going to add taping to make my vowel suffix ing. I'm going to have to drop the e to add vowel suffix ing. Tapping. Okay. So taping. T A P. I need a. That will be e. Will be tape. Mm -hmm. If I'm making taping, I'm going to have to drop the e. Then I can add vowel suffix i tapping in. G and my word is still taping. It's still taping. Oh, so the E is like not there, but it still says. Like yeah, we need to drop it. We need to put on drop it and then add ing instead of saying T A P E I N G. Okay, we need to drop this E. Because you can't have the E and the I beside each other. Okay? So that's where we have tape. T-A-P-E. And I want to make taping. I need to drop the E. And then add suffix I-N-G. So I still have my vowel suffix ing, my vowel a so long, so my word is going to be taping, taping, okay? Um, we're going to try another one here at file. file. So my word is file, f-i-l-e, my word is file. I'm going to make a filing, do y'all have this in your book? So I have the word file. I need to make the word filing. Okay, so looking at my rule, I have a vowel suffix ing. So that's telling me I need to drop that silent e off a of file to add my vowel suffix ing. So my new word will be f i l i n g. My word is filing. 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 Same thing here at ride. 
I have R, I, D, E, my word is ride. If I'm making riding, because I have that vowel consonant E, and my E is silent, I'm going to have to drop the E to add my vowel suffix ing. So R, I, D, I, N, G. My word is riding. 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 And I can still code. Box and vowel suffix ing. My vowel is long. Because it was vowel consonant e, my word is riding. Same thing in filing. Box and vowel suffix ing. My I is still long for filing. Do we always do this? Yes. Oh. Every time you see, if you're a base word, you're adding a vowel suffix to your base word. Here we're adding vowel suffix ing. Um, so if you have a base word that ends in a final um, vowel consonant E, like in tape, you have a vowel consonant E, where E is silent, it makes that vowel say its name. To add that vowel suffix, you just have to drop the E to add the ing. <coughs> um, so let's practice a few. Go ahead and turn your page. So looking here at coding and practicing a few of these words. Okay. All right, if I'm looking here and looking at my syllable type, I see a vowel I consonant E. Remember the E is silent. But my word is file. file. Here, my word is filed. My suffix ed. I have a vowel suffix ed. So here, to have filed, I had to drop the e to add suffix ed. So I have suffix ed. My eye is so long, my word is filed. Okay, once again, so we have one of them. I thought we only used vowel ED. I thought we only used I and G. We got I and G is a vowel suffix. ED is a vowel suffix. E it happened in the past. We have ER. Nice. We have EST, which means the most. ER when you're comparing things. I mean that which, one who, or more than. And vowel suffix EN, which means to become or made of. All of these are the vowel suffix we've learned so far. Okay, and remember, if I just have a base word plus a consonant suffix in the past, we had to look at the last three letters of our base word, and did we have vowel teams, did we have um, the two consonant letters, remember here we can just add. But because my words are, um, my base word ends in a vowel consonant E, and it's following the syllable type number four, because they're all vowel consonant E, we have a dropping rule. I need to drop that silent E to add my vowel suffix. Okay? So even like here on filed, if I had the word file, like a second ago, F-I-L-E, if I want to make that filed past tense, I'm going to have to drop the E and put E. Or E off. Drop the E to turn right around file to add vowel suffix E D. Because it can't be two E's right next to it. Yes, because I couldn't have the two E's next to each other. Can't you just add a D? Okay, you're right. If this was file, you, you're right. I could add just the D, but I want you to know and see that I had to drop it to get rid of it, to add, ooh, uh, it's a little razor, 
name, sorry. Oh, oh. I had to actually drop the E to then go back and add that vowel suffix ed. Okay, even on filing, F I L E, it's final. I want the word filing. Oh, I have to drop the E. I'm struggling with the board. To add my vowel suffix I N G. Filing. All right, same thing that happened here. I'm going to switch to green. All right, so this base word was tape, T-A-P-E. All right, I'm changing tape to now this is going to be taping. I had to remove the silent E to add my vowel suffix I-N-G. That's what happened here. So this word is actually taping. What word? Taping. Okay, not tapping. Yeah. Tapping, remember, is when we double that consonant. We have to double the P. T A P P I N G would be tapping. So the power is taping. So looking at number one. We have taping. Make sure you box in suffix ing. My vowel is long. So my word is taping. taping. All right, let's look at the next one. I have a vowel suffix er. So I know to add that vowel suffix er, uh, excuse me, er. So my word was s c r a. P E. So A consonant E, my word was scrape. Scrape. So to add E, the vowel suffix E R, I had to drop the E and put E R. To add vowel suffix nice, Arsenia, to add vowel suffix E R, so my word is scraper. What word? Scraper. Scraper. Where's a scraper? Um, like a scrape like, yes, like you were scrape, scraping, excuse me, like paint off the wall, or at the end of the year when we're taking all the hot glue off, you can like scrape things in. You can only use it to scrape paint, or scrape, scrape glue off the wall. Scrape cheese. Not a grater, that's a grater, which you grate cheese with. Oh, okay. But a scraper. Um, like this past summer, my parents were repainting their porch, so they had to scrape and get all that old paint off before they could repaint their porch. Okay. Um, let's go to number two. So looking at my word, and I have a vowel suffix ing. I know originally this was my word. T U B E. Tube. I needed tubing, so I had to drop the E. And I added vowel suffix ing. So my word is tubing. tubing. Go next door. I have vowel suffix est. My vowel is long. So my word is cuteness. Cuteness. Can we the board? Yes. You want to go up here and do one? Yes. All right. I'm going to let you do one. Tomorrow do one and we'll keep going. Just for our time. So you box in vowel suffix ed. You know your vowel's long. Rope. Rope. Good job. Rope. Okay, so Mario, you want to do number three? Nice. <coughs> box in vowel suffix ing. Hiding. Hiding. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and um, look at your next page. We're going to practice coding and reading these words. Um, go ahead and flip over. Flip over one more. We're going to move on to some of our sentences. 
Okay, we're going to do a few sentences, and we're going to move on so we can make sure we have time to finish. So before we begin view um, our sentences, let's review our syllable types. Um, remember, we know we have a vowel in a closed syllable is short. You got it with a brief. Vowel in an open accent and syllable is long. Cut it with a macron. When we have a vowel team or vowel pair, we're going to underline the diagraphs and arc our diphthongs. Um, you have vowel consonant E, where your vowel will be um, long. E is silent, cut it with a macron. You have those final stable syllables. They're final because they're at the end of the word. Um, they are stable because they are never accented. You accent the syllable before it. And then we have those vowel R combinations here. So this is our syllable type. Let's go ahead and look at your sentences. Sentence yeah. number one. So good. I know I didn't come across anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and practice coding in your book. Ms. Freeman is going to practice coding here on the board. Check your coding with mine. <clears throat> and Arsenia, are you ready to read? She is hogging the final word. Well, not be too scared. All right, let's try that one more time. How do we code this O? This O is going to be long. So not oh, hoping. Mm, so let's try one more time. She is hoping the final word. The, the film. 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 She, she is hoping the film will not be too scary. Nice job. Everyone, let's read number one. She is hoping the film will not be too scary. This word is film. 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 And this, if you just look at that, if you put she is hopping, the field will not be too scary. Does that make sense? No. No, this is going to be hopping. Remember, we're going to have to double it. H-O-P-P-I-N-G. But here, we would have hope. H-O-P-E. And then take off the E. But you would have to take off the E to add I. G. So my vowel is still long, so my word is hoping. All right, let's read number one again together. Ready? She is hoping the film will not be too scary. All right, let's look at number two. You practice coding. When you're ready, it's more to read. I think the dog is hiding in the clump of trees. Nice job. Big group. Big group, like a big clump of trees. Nice job. You are very smooth. You are fluent. You are automatic. Nice work. Number three. Lauren, you want to come up and do my work? Alright, wait, good. So, you want to come up or you want me to do it? You mm -hmm. oh, Okay. You want to come up? Yeah. Alright, thanks, sister. I'll help you out, too. Alright, you need to code what you need to do. If you need to code everything, code everything. Code what you need. Okay? Same 
thing. They have bowel suffix ESG. Can to pick the ripest apples. Ripest apples. Ripest apples. Nice. Everyone, let's read number three. The man hired Kim to pick the ripest apples. The most ripe. So you want your apple not to be, it's like just right. Like, think about, um, you know, you have like really red, dark red apples, and some are like not really red, and then just like the ripest apples. You want your apple to be, or even bananas, you want them to be ripe and ready to eat. So the man hired him to pick the ripest apples. Alright, number four. Can I need it? You want to come do it? Or you just want to do it for me? Meet me in the dining room at noon. Nice job. Meet me in the dining room at noon. Very nice job, Arsenio. Dining room at noon. All right, give yourself a pat on the back. I'm kind of really impressed. You guys are doing a lot better at this than I, uh, than I had figured because this is a hard skill. This is kind of a really hard skill. So you guys are doing amazing, and I'm super proud of you. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'll give you another pat on the back. You guys should be proud of yourselves. Um, yeah. All right. This is my second one. It's okay. Hey. Go ahead and look at your wrap page. We're going to quickly move on. This is going to be a dropping rule. So you're going to have that vowel consonant E plus your vowel suffix here. Okay, so these are, like I said, going to be the long vowels. Um, so we have roping. Roping. We've gone along. Roping. Roping. Taken. Taken. Wiper. Wiper. Cutest. Cutest. Filed. Filed. Arsenia. Oh. Filed. Roping. Cutest. Taken. 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 Wiper. Wiper. Roping. Cutest. Filed. Taken. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sloping. Sloping. Broken. Broken. Quaking. Quaking. Stalest. Stalest. Driver. Driver. Broke. 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 Broken. 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 Stat. Stalest. Stalest. Sloping. Thin. Driver. Driver. Thank you. Teachers at 115 to 145, the library will be closed. It will open back up shortly after 145. At 115, Thank the you. library will be closed. Thank you. So are two waking, driver, stalest, broken, sloping. All right. Are you sloping like you're tired? Um, first two, second two. Sloping, tired. Cutest, waking, driver, take, mm -hmm. take, taken, taken, sloping, 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 broken, broken, cutest, fire, quaking, broken, sailors, wiper, shot, sloping, sailors, taking, driver, roping, quake. Nice job, nice job. Um, let's move on to our spelling piece. So you guys can go ahead and close your book. Quickly get just out your um, writing notebook. Um, remember we're going to move into our spelling piece here. Remember to look, listen, echo, name it, and write it. Um, this time I'm going to do only our, ooh, I dropped my heart, only oh. the sounds from long vowels. I don't know why. Oh, and I still have this. Oh, yeah, from that one. It's really easy. Only, mm -hmm. Only our um, long vowel. 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 Vowel.
don't know why it's so big up here. So um, remember here you're going to look, this is Echo, you're going to name you it write. and write it, and I'm going to write right here on the board with you. Um, and then if we get stuck, I'll give you that keyword to help, okay? It's going to be easy on me. Alright, there's going to be three. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. A. A, A constant, E.
let's do another one. Echo in the mirror. Words. 
So let me review our spelling chart. We know that when we hear a short vowel sound before a consonant sound, we spell that pattern with um, a vowel consonant. We know a vowel and a closed syllable is short. We code it with a breathe. When we hear a long vowel sound and an open accent and syllable, we spell that sound with a vowel. A vowel and an open accent and syllable is long. Code it with a make rhyme. When we hear a sound made by a vowel team, we're going to spell it with a vowel team. A lot of those remember E-E-O-O -O words here. <clears throat> Number four, when we hear a long vowel sound before a consonant sound, we spell that pattern with a vowel consonant E. A vowel consonant E, the E is silent. It makes the vowel say its name. Code it with a make rhyme. Five, when we have those final stable syllables, and when we hear a consonant sound before the sound O and a final Unaccented syllable, we spell that with a consonant LE. We bracket off that final stable syllable, accent the syllable before it. And then when we hear an R controlled vowel sound with vowel R's, we spell that pattern with a vowel R combination and we arc those. A lot of those is that ER, IR, UR, AR, those examples there. Okay, but we're going to start practicing a few of these words. And here we go. Remember our two syllable base words with our pattern vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Here we learned that we can accent before the consonant, combine an accent before that consonant. And then remember our syllable division chart here as well. So we're going to be um, doing this. So remember we're going to look, listen, we're going to echo, we're going to unblend and move the mouth pictures. Just kidding. So remember, we're going to look, listen, echo. We're going to unblend, move those mouth pictures. We're going to divide between those syllables. We're going to listen for an accent. You're going to touch, spell, name, write, code, and read. Um, because now it would be like colored squares. Now you have it in parentheses. I know. I know. I need to read and change this. But when we see the mouth features, we know we're doing colored squares. Okay. Okay. Our table's a mess. All right. Let's look at some of these words we're going to be spelling. All right. So the first word I'm going to give you is going to be an easy word. And you guys think this is funny. So my word is macron. What word? Macron. All right. Let's sound it out. Looking at my syllable division. Okay, remember we've been looking at number three. So let's go ahead and label our stuff. Do I have a suffix or a prefix? So suffix or prefix. 
No. Do I have a compound word or two base words? No. Do I have any um, check for our obvious coding of digraphs, combinations, or silent letters? No. Negative. I can't find my vowel, so I know A is a vowel. O is a vowel. Connect them. Question? C is a R is a consonant. No, before. Before. Yes, the driver on the back before the consonant an accent in the first. So my vowel A is an open accent and syllable. It's long. The next vowel is in a closed syllable and it's short. So my word is? Macron. Macron. Very nice job, Macron. My friend has a Macron. Say that one more time. Macron has a Macron has a Macron, you are right. Macron. And let's do replace those mouth pictures. Um, your word is program. What word? Program. Stretch it. Program. All right. Program. Program. So you make it. Division chart. Do we have a suffix or prefix? No. 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 Do we have a compound word? No. 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 Do we have any digraphs that need to no. be or any no. coding? No. no. We can go to number four, which is find those vowels. O is a vowel. A is a vowel. Connect them. G is a R is a consonant. Let's say your word program. Oh, oh, to find the the app before the before the consonant. Yes. Accent the syllable before it. Open accent syllable. Vowels and the open accent syllable. Nice job, Samara. 
What about my next battle? It's it's oh yeah, it's a close. close so it's short. It's a three. Program. Nice. What's the word? Program. Nice job. Okay, you guys can go ahead and um go ahead and start cleaning those up. Remember, replace your math pictures. Um, while you guys are cleaning that up, I do want to bring attention to that word macron. How about we spell macron on the C? Why do we spell it with a C instead of a K? Because, because it, it doesn't have um I U E. I or E. You hear the make the K with a O with a R consonant. Remember when we hear the K sound? Before an A, O, U, or any consonant letter, you're going to spell it with a C. And so the K or Macron is an R consonant. So there we go. And then it has a K because it's an I. So if there was a C in the site. Good job. A nice job. Oh, that hurts. Your back hurts from sitting. You guys did awesome. Um, from yesterday. Yes, sir. From all that, from that field trip, exactly. Um, so you guys did great. I do want to go back and review. So remember, I do want to go back and kind of review our dropping rule. Give me just a second to find that chart. Um, so while you are cleaning it, remember our dropping rule that when we have one vowel, one consonant, and one accent, we double that final consonant. Um, before adding the vowel suffix, so we got sorry, that was doubling. Let's look at dropping. When we have a final consonant and that silent e, so the final consonant silent e, we drop that silent e before adding the vowel suffix. Then we have a consonant vowel suffix here. Okay, you guys did awesome. You did amazing. I know this was kind of very long, um, so awesome job. You got how you guys already cleaned that. Oh, an exit slip. I like that. Okay. Exit slip. Can you tell me one thing you learned today? That um, we can a um vowel consonant e. We can take it off and add ing or ed. Very nice. Yes, I got two. Oh, all right. Some more. What's one thing that you got? I learned that on. Oh, look at that. I learned that you. Like, he actually stole my thing. He stole it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can elaborate on that. Can you give me an example? An example of. Um, I'm sorry, what word? Bake. Bake. If you want to make baking, you take the E, D off and put I in G. Okay, very nice. Anything else you want to add to what we learned today? Yes. Anybody? Me. All right. Um, um, that, um, we always do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do this lesson. We do this every day. No, I mean, like, always do this thing. Do what? Like um this always the race? No. Always do this. Our word work? Yeah. And spell? Yeah. yeah, we do our word work and spell like this at the end of all of our lessons. That's part of it. It's this part here. Word work and spelling things. So we do that every day. Oh I got another thing. That was really good. Oh, my hair on no. getting better. Mine. Uh, <laughs> um how do I make this go? Can you just click? All right, what's your password? Put that in. Thank you. You guys did awesome. Thank you guys for working really hard. Ooh, it's so good. Damn.